Now, the Kenyatta National Teaching and Referral Hospital is celebrating advances in kidney transplant surgery uh, that use the laparoscopic uh, technique. Now, the hospital aims to transplant two patients per week following the surge in kidney failure cases in the country. Now, kidney specialist Dr. Patrick Mbogwa stated that 10% of a population suffers from kidney ailments without showing any symptoms. KNH, which now has a transplant unit, is calling upon the public to normalize kidney checkups and volunteer as donors. There's also emphasis on the kidney transplant being a better or being better rather and cheaper option uh, for kidney patients as compared to dialysis surgery, as the name suggests, it's getting to the abdomen or a cavity with minimal disruptions of body surface. And therefore, we call it, you hear people talking about the keyhole because a small hole. I'll be able to access now the internal uh, organs of choice and target. And by so doing, you minimize scarring the patient. Uh, we're also able to minimize uh, blood loss and therefore also pain consequently. It's a lot of advantage because of magnification. We are using uh, uh, advanced cameras to be able to see inside. And therefore, we are able to see organs better and even take precautions uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a better way. The patients improve faster than having a big abdominal scar as uh, incision site uh, that takes a little bit lo uh, longer or lo uh, takes a long, uh, longer time to heal. So this procedure is what we are doing now. It is one of a kind that has been done in this country and I would like to encourage more and more Kenyans or even people from around the region to come forward to donate because for sure we are going to have you know, better outcomes even with the donor. They will be happier with very, very small scars on the abdomen rather than large scars.